Hey guys, BG back with another video and today we're with Battlefront News episode 3 and hopefully you like this series and this is episode 3 already. So please comment down if you like this series again and thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. And the first set of news is that last episode I talked about the Rebel, the new Rebel skin and plus the gun he's using and I found out the name. The name is the D DP-23 Rifle. It was a shotgun in the old Battlefront 2 game, so we might get that. I don't know, it looks similar to that, so I hope we're getting that shotgun. And this clip we're watching right here, it's a known hacker on the PC, but he has a new gamer tag. His original name was Lord Snow NL, but then when EA banned him, they he got he just got, he just got another account and just kept that spamming hacks. Now his name is Lord. No, NNL. Yeah, it's NNL. So he's back in the. The DLCs in Star Wars Battlefront are very odd. The order of them are from new to old. So it's kind of odd because it went from Battle of Jakku or Episode 7 to Outer Rim or Return of the Jedi. And then to Bespin or Empire Strikes Back. Then to Death Star or A New Hope. And then Rogue One Scarif or Rogue One Silver Story, which was before New Hope. So I think for the next Star Wars Battlefront game, which is going to be Star Wars Battlefront 2 by EA and DICE and Motive, they're going to add in there. Motive is going to be making this game too. So I think it's going to be about Clone Wars, Clone Wars Era, and The Force Awakens. I don't know why. It, Go, this all DLC stuff goes in with The Force Awakens, but I think they're gonna just Force Awakens episode 7, 8, and 9 when they all come out. They're gonna do DLCs for those if the game is good by that time. So I think it'll be Clone Wars and the new third trilogy in Star Wars Battlefront 2.